this is a mango and it look fake it feel fake like i'm beyond pissed and this is like look at this this is gmo i'm gonna give it a big no like yeah, exactly and this is why i say none of you are vegetarians none of you are vegans none of you are eating real food and i'm gonna show it to you here now look this is an organic pear but on the pear you see the label right you see these labels they put on it, it says trust well can we really trust it now if you look at the number there if you can see it on the live can you see it all right if you look at the number there it's designated by a nine a eight or a four if it's a four it's pesticides right so it's conventionally raised which means it's on a regular farm there's no real regulation they can do whatever they need to do to grow that fruit or vegetable for you if it's an eight designated in front of that on that number on the sticker it means it's genetically modified okay which means that it's been altered in some way shape or form either at the genetic level or through the use of pesticides and chemicals to cause an alteration later on down the line once you consume it gmo is going out the window so you, you will no longer see gmo on your foods anymore the new term you need to look for is bioengineered. So when you go to your store today or tomorrow, whenever you go back to the store, look at all the food products, look at the back, and you're gonna see bioengineered. You won't see GMO anymore. It's another trick to trick you out of your health. Then the next designation is organic. And for a long time, we thought organic was safe. Organic is no longer safe. This pair here is designated as organic because it has a nine on the sticker so this is the designation i'm going to tell you why organic is no longer safe and why you and i are trucketarians we're no longer eating real food in 1996 a chemical was produced called mcp mcp and it stands for methylcyclopropene write this down methylcyclopropene and methylcyclopropene is a petrochemical it's a petrochemical that is used to preserve the shelf life of your fruits and your vegetables. In 1996 was when it was founded and patented. But in 2002, the Environmental Protection Agency decided, and the FDA, to put this into our food supply. So, this MCP under a technology called Smart Fresh is used to preserve the shelf life of your fruits and vegetables as long as two to three years. Hear me, two to three years, which means the fruits and the vegetables that you are consuming can be as old as three years. Do you understand? And you notice if you pay attention to the fruits that you've been consuming, they just don't seem to decompose. What's the problem with MCP under this technology called Smart Fresh? The problem is, is when you infuse fruits and vegetables and our food supply with blockers that block microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, and other organisms, you cause a serious problem in the human body. Because when you consume these fruits and vegetables that have been chemicalized with these blockers, they also block the natural microorganisms that are in your colon, which means they block your probiotics which are very important for your immune system. They block other organisms within your colon that help you digest your food and therefore set you up on the path for disease. These are very, very dangerous because it triggers an immune response when you consume it. The problem is, is that we haven't been told that they were using this MCP into our food supply. If you are a vegetarian or a vegan or a carnivore, Please know that the organic foods that you have been eating for the last 20 years are not real foods. They are synthetics. And that is why I always harp on this channel to grow your own food. I'm not saying that to be trendy. I'm really saying that because you can really go nowhere else to get your food anymore but your own backyard. Minus the chemtrails and the other crap that they're spraying. But at least you have a chance. With these foods... It is destroying your complete endocrine system. It destroys your complete sensory system. And it shuts down your natural gut microbiome and your probiotics. This is a serious problem that has to be dealt with. Right, so what's the reason for all this? I told you, all treasures are buried. We have to dig for them. Why are they using 
this MCP on our food supply? Why are they trying to downregulate our probiotics in our gut? Because when you downregulate probiotics in the gut, you affect something very, very important. You disrupt the pineal gland. You disrupt the pineal gland. When you disrupt the pineal gland, now you're causing serious damage because you're not only affecting the organism's ability to heal, but you're affecting the organism's ability to produce melatonin. And melatonin is a critical byproduct, a critical factor for overall health and immunity. This is what they're trying to get at. Calcify the pineal gland, destroy the entire system and your sensory perception. The pineal gland functions as your sensory perception. If your sensory perception is off, you won't be able to see or anticipate other attacks against the human body. Let's get into it.